This is my latest gadget, it's a 20 peg dryer. It's meant for hanging socks and or underpants on. And it's pink to stop it being stolen. Let's have a look what's inside it. Wow, it looks just like it does on the package. This is so good. It makes me so happy. <laughs> They've forgotten about me. I'm starving. Jeez. Mmm. Oh. Mouse bar ice cream. Oh, everything we eat. I'm gonna burn my fingers. Ow! I'm gonna burn my fingers. Ow! Ah, it's 18.52 on Sunday. Well, I don't know what time that is. I've just woken up. Today's been sunny and glorious and awesome. And what did I do? I fell asleep for most of the afternoon. I was outside for about the duration of eating two bacon sandwiches and then just came in, went on the computer and then went to bed. Because I'm lazy. Uh, very lazy. I exercise a lot during the week, but I'm very lazy at weekends. I can do that. I'm just fine. There's no laws against that. Bit of a waste, but what can you do? <laughs> Good afternoon. <laughs> you join me on the M6. I've been travelling for 58 minutes, which is nearly an hour, you could argue. Um, in fact, let's call it an hour. I hope you can't hear the vents behind you blowing cool there. But it feels like I'm sat in an oven. Because it's roasterating. I'm actually on my way down south to a place called Havant, which is on the south coast of England. Those of you who know England well will know it's a tiny little island consisting of Liverpool and London. So, um, yeah. I can't wait to get there and get out of the car and have a shower. Don't know if you can see that, but it basically says two hours and six minutes on the road. That's a lot. It's not that long, really, is it? Bloody hell, you know? People do longer than that. That's long. What, you know, what hope is it for long distance lorry drivers? They'd just be, you know, two hours and that was long. That, oh, just give over. But I've got another two hours and 41 minutes to go. So, uh, let's see how fresh I look <laughs> to the next hour. Three hours on the road and I uh, haven't hit any major traffic yet and I still don't need a wait so that's pretty good going. Four hours on the road, still haven't stopped, hair's probably looking worse. I have an hour left to go. Four hours, 55 minutes later, I'm in the middle of nowhere. Am I glad to be here? Yes because I just want to get out of the car. Not that I'm glad to be here, because all it is, if you look at the map, is uh, a hedge. That's what my destination and it's pretty accurate. I'm just looking at a hedge, so uh, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. It's a, it's a travel lodge on the side of a dual carriageway with a closed um, little chef that's been closed for a year. It's really depressing. And the woman behind the counter said, you have loads more people coming here than are booked. I'm here for two nights and she said I'll put you upstairs because we haven't got enough room for the people who've paid so when they come they're going to kick off at me and that'll keep you awake so it sounds like a regular occurrence so uh, yeah looks like I'll be going across to the petrol station and uh, grabbing a sandwich because uh, after a five hour drive I don't particularly want to drive anywhere and the lady behind the counter said you've got to drive to get anywhere so uh, looks like it'll be an early night this one <laughs> So there's a the shell garage, and there is the broken down little chef, and behind that is the travel lodge. There's a mobile phone transmitter, here's the car park, and there's my car. We're wide awake, slept in an oven. Oh, I'll say slept. <laughs> well, I've had a day in the office, and now I'm sat in my vest and shorts in the car. I'm just about to go for a spin because there's nothing around here at all, so I'm going to go for a bit of a drive and see where I end up. I don't particularly feel like driving, but I think once I get going, 
think I'll be all right. Because I'm pretty tired and pretty hot and sticky. But there's just nothing. Unless I want to go to the select garage over there. There's, a, there's not a lot of choice. So I'm going to try and find a, a beach. Because I am on the south coast. Well, I don't know what that is. It's gangster. Well, you know. You know, it's relatively gangster. It's sinister. It's fairly. It's got bad intentions. Well, naughty intentions. You know, it's not full on. I'm going to drive up to someone and shoot them. It's more like I'm going to laugh at someone when they're not looking. Anyway, I'm going to get going, and I'll talk to you if I find a beach. Ciao. car now had a bit of adventure looked at the sea had fish and chips by the sea it's got that old you know that Morecambe feeling well if you know what Morecambe is it's like a seaside town it's a bit past its best the place is called Hailing Island it's right at the south coast of the old US of K United Kingdom of K but um, it's it's really nice a lot of Polish people here the woman that served me in the chip shop the second I asked for fish and chips she started dialing in the price in the till with her other hand was out already money Give money straight away instead of sort of like dialing with two hands and then you know asking for it, she just kind of <clears throat> pay me. I mean, she wasn't the most friendliest person, but anyway, it's too hot for me. It's it's still uh, 29 to my last very early, well, nearly 30 degrees. It's now 20 to 8 in the evening. Although I've just had fish and chips and I'm fairly stuffed, I'm going to go back to my uh, luxury um, apartment and get some ice cream from the uh. The little shell garage thing next door, because uh, it's kind of greedy. But yeah, this it took me 35 minutes to get here, and it's 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 a lovely day. There's people actually swimming in the sea, you know, waist high, shoulder high in the sea. It's really weird to see, and the fact that the sea is there, but the sun's setting over there, and in Morecambe, obviously the sun sets right into the sea. So it's weird to think that that's the south. It's really bizarre, really un un unusual. Anyway, I'm boring myself to tears, so I'm gonna shut up and I'll speak to you later, bye. You never get enough milk in these places. <laughs> You'll see this purple shirt a lot because it's pretty much the only one I own. As if by magic, I'm back home and it's Thursday. How easy was that? Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye.